The 90s was an eventful decade for Honda, winning two consecutive Formula One World Championship titles in both 90 and 91. Ayrton Senna made his mark in Honda's own Hall of Fame. In the same season came the team's fifth double win, whilst winning the Constructors' Championship for the fourth year running. The Honda Formula One team retired from competition in 1992. Many times throughout Honda's history, products met with rapid success upon launch. Never before, though, had a product been so successful that even before launch, there was a waiting list for those wishing to buy one. This new product was the Honda NSX. Launched in September 1990, journalists proclaimed it a vehicle that would change the standard of sports cars. Test-driven and fine-tuned by Ayrton Senna himself, the car shared the power and character of its Formula One inspiration. The NSX was a muscular, taut and refined sports car that was also technologically sophisticated. For Soishiro Honda, his dream of creating racing cars was now realized not only on the race circuits of the world, but also in a product that would bring race car performance to Honda customers. It was fitting, therefore, that the NSX sports car would have been one of the last products that the Honda Motor Company's founder and inspirational spirit would see leaving his production lines. Soishiro Honda died on August 5, 1991, at the age of 84. Approaching the end of his life, he had dedicated thought to how he would like his passing to be marked. I was able to lead a wonderful life because of our customers, business partners, people in society, and employees. When I die, please place my personal messages in newspapers around the world saying thank you. In addition to the newspaper announcement, thank you gatherings held at Honda locations allowed 62,000 individuals to celebrate an outstanding life. These events were spread across a three-day period, thereby avoiding a vast surge of visitors all arriving at the same place at the same time and respecting another of Soishiro Honda's final wishes. I have lived my life as an automobile manufacturer. How can I cause serious traffic on the day of my funeral? Soishiro Honda had built a successful and innovative global company. His many statements on the nature of business had become bedrocks of Honda, and in 1992, the Honda philosophy was published for the first time. These guiding principles continue to propel our company forward today. Earth's okay, why go to the moon? Clearly not everybody believes okay is okay. We don't. And we were wondering... What would the world be like if its favorite word wasn't okay? What if we could change it? What if the word was... What if? In robotics, huge strides were literally being made as a new generation of robots appeared with a quicker, more human step. In 1993, a new generation appeared, starting with the P1. For the first time, the robots became recognizably humanoid, complete with upper limbs and the ability to grasp and manipulate different objects. This period of development would culminate in the P3. By the latter half of the 1990s, limiting CO2 emissions became an important theme in automobile construction. One way of achieving this was the development of hybrid technologies. In 1999, Honda introduced the world's first hybrid car. The Honda Insight was built with extruded aluminium to make its body lightweight, a process Honda had learned a great deal about during the development of the Honda NSX. The Insight, like all Honda hybrid systems, uses a parallel layout which is lightweight and provides ample torque to complement the petrol engine. In 1998, Hiroyuki Yoshino assumed the position of president and CEO, and the Honda Motor Company celebrated its 50th anniversary. It was the opportunity for Honda to deploy its overall 2010 vision, to become a company that the society wants to exist through creating new value, globalization, and commitment for the future, in various initiatives in every part of the company.
To celebrate its 50th anniversary, the company created the Honda S2000, an open sports car that redefined driving pleasure. In the S2000, Honda managed to resolve what were considered to be impossible technical challenges. To combine a light, open body structure with the rigidity and passenger crash protection qualities of a closed body structure. To develop an engine with world leading power output, but clean exhaust emission nonetheless. And finally, to enhance the driving comfort with the top down. The S2000 is the true representation of Honda's refusal to compromise on performance and a determination to meet environmental standards.